All right, we got a new heat call on a heat pump. I changed out the air handler last summer. They couldn't afford to change the heat pump with it. It's an Amana R22 heat pump. It was in pretty good shape, but I still recommended a new one, but he said it's not working. So let's go see what we can find. Grab my bag here. Okay, so nothing is coming on. So I came to the breaker panel. This is the breaker for the air handler. You can't even, you can't even turn it off. And if you check it right here, let me back the camera up. There we go. If you check it here from here, we have zero volts going to the air handler. But if you go from each leg to ground, I'm gonna prop that up on ground, try to anyway. Okay, let's try that there we go so from ground to there we have 120 and then from ground to here we have 120 but if we go in between we have nothing so we're gonna get a breaker All right, so we got a new breaker. What I like to do is wire it up first and then snap it in. And you wanna make sure that you get this good and tight. And hold back on your wire with your fingers because it will slip out as you tighten up. Okay. We'll check this one again. Yep. All right. Now we'll snap it in. Breaker is off. Once we get it in place, like so, I think I'm off the mark there. Careful, do that. I accidentally turned it on. There we go. Okay, so now we'll turn it on. And let's see if we're getting voltage out of it now. Pretty sure I heard the blower just come on. Mm -hmm. Yep, now, if you look at the meter right there, we have our 240 volts. So we have fixed it. Hey guys, okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm just finishing up because he's a really good customer of mine. 
I am freezing. It's, it's, I, you don't say that often in Louisiana, but like I'm so cold, I'm like, I'm kind of slurring to talk because my lips are, I mean, I, I am frozen. So we got the breaker replaced as you saw and the heat came on. Well, he rearranged his deck out here and he used to have a floodlight on the corner of the house. Well, they don't sit over there no more, so he don't need the floodlight. So he moved the floodlight further over here and he had two bare wires hanging. He killed the power 110 volts. And he said, hey man, while you're here, I hate to ask you, but since you're already out here because he lives way out in the country. Uh, he said, would you mind installing a receptacle for me up there on the eve? That way I could plug extension cords and stuff in. And he's an older guy, but a real nice customer. And, I mean, what, what am I gonna do, tell him no? So, I mean, I was like, yeah, sure. So I had to go get material and it took a lot longer to install that that receptacle than it should have because, oh man, I can feel the heat in the truck now. Ooh, I can finally feel my fingers again. Uh, it's cold. I don't know what the temperature is. I have no way to tell right now. Uh, I'd have to start the video because if I swipe up, I'm, I'm afraid it's going to end the video. Okay, so it's it's 35 degrees with a wind chill of 28 and the wind is whipping. Now, I know a lot of you guys up north probably saying, oh, pff, that's nothing. To y'all, absolutely. To us, this is cold. Like, I I never wear a sock hat. I actually had to stop and buy this today. It's a Carhartt sock hat, beanie, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> because it's cold. Uh, 28 degrees is cold to us, and that's with the wind chill. And believe me, baby, the wind is whipping. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, nothing special, but better than nothing. So... We replaced the double pole breaker for the air handler. Everything came back on. It's a, this is a heat pump. Um, electric heat works, heat pump works, cooling. I checked everything, every, all the cycles come on. Then we installed the receptacle, which I didn't film because it was just way too cold. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.